today I will talk about artificial intelligence. I assume that most of you have heard about artificial intelligence, and I guess that you have read a lot, you know a lot about artificial intelligence. But for those that maybe are not familiar, artificial intelligence is the, the use of the resources to achieve or overcome somehow the human intelligence, right? The, the objective is to make uh, something like human intelligence. This, this project, let's say, it started in after war, the 1950s. Uh, it started with, with this idea, and many fields have been developed, like robotics, natural language processing, computer vision. So with this idea, other ideas uh, were evolving together. For example, futuristic visions or uh, concepts of innovation, disruptive, evolving uh, of technology. So uh, we achieved today a moment of incredible expansion, incredible uh, excitement about what artificial intelligence is promising us, right? So besides this moment, we have uh, also had moments where artificial intelligence weren't uh, so excited. So for, for some several decades, um, the development of artificial intelligence was uh, very well funded, but others were not, were abandoned, were stagnated. So these were called the winter of AI, right? Uh, especially uh, in the winter of AI, um, the deception that uh, this technology uh, didn't achieve what they promised brought a moment of um, stillness. And I believe that winter is an interesting metaphor because it seems that winter is something bad, that's something that we suffer, something that we abandon, something that is everything is still. But uh, it is not. It is a good metaphor, but in the sense that we need winter because after winter, as everyone knows, spring comes. So my idea here to to talk about you is about how we can transpose this uh, metaphor to think about why it's important this winter. Because what I believe is that uh, above all the excitement that we have now about artificial intelligence, it is highly probably that a winter is coming. So uh, we need to be prepared. We have to manage our expectation and think about it. This is an image from Ricard that I took um, that he was uh, showing us in, in Twitter that the word perceptron, this is an important concept in, in deep learning, appearing in, in Google and Grams, they mentioned of this word uh, along the history. But it's interesting to see that after this uh, decay of, of, of the, the use of the word, after these this winters, some technologies uh, achieve uh, an important point, an important point of the technology for being in some way developed uh, in the future and, the, as of course, the spring uh, came, right? So um, for understanding this more deeply, we need to understand how techno social technology works and how this uh, evolves in, uh, let's say, in our society. So I will go back to talk about different technologies to understand why this is important. Any technology is a solution of specific problems. The problem is who defines these problems, who defines this is a problem and is not other. This is based on different assumptions, ideas, uh, tools, uh, other resources that are in the world uh, that we as a society define. We define according to our position in the world, our organizations, our companies, our governments. These are called technological frame. A technological frame is an um, amount of, of ideas, assumption that identify us as different social groups or relevant groups, right? So these groups define this is a problem for us. As we know, the climate change is a problem to everyone, but not everyone acknowledges this as a problem. So this is the same. Artificial intelligence, for example, was uh, defined as a solution for specific problems. Um, so every social group define this problem and define the potential solution of this. Uh, this is well uh, studied in the case of bicycles. Um, uh, you know bicycles as we know now were invented in 1895, um, but not until then the bike was 
as we know today. Before, in the 1960s, the Velocipede was invented. The, the Velocipede was a very uh, robust um, transportation solution that was made of iron and wood. It was very uh, hard material, really complicated because there are no mechanisms for pedaling, etc. It was adopted by a specific social groups and it was used for transportation and for some races, some playful moments of men. And this evolved as a, as a technology. Evolved until 1885. The, the safety bicycle was invented. But the safety bicycle that has softer materials, that has uh, a mechanism uh, that was easy to, to be used, wasn't accepted, especially for men. Men thought that uh, in that time this was not so masculine. So only women can use it for leisure but not for transportation, not for going fast, because this was not made for them. But was until someone proved that actually the, the bicycle was fast, even faster than the velocipede, that uh, finally the, the, the men accepted this as a potential solution for their problem, which is transportation. Uh, so with other uh, increasing uh, solutions uh, in materials and, and technologies, this was accepted as what we know now, which is a bicycle. So this is a, a moment of closure of a technology, where different social groups agree that this uh, is the best solution of our problem, and the, the problem is the same for everyone. So this can be analyzed, uh, this can be used for analyzing any technology, and with artificial intelligence it's the, the same. But in the middle, we have controversies. Controversy means problem, issues, negotiations, different conflicts that comes in the moment of a stabilization. This is something that we are living today. We, today we know that big companies, uh, very well-funded uh, industries are leading the race of, the, of AI. All uh, powerful plan, uh, countries are invest, investing uh, on AI, where powerless countries, regions, and also companies are not at achieving at all the development of this technology. So this is getting uh, polarized. So these controversies are important because this has consequences. For example, we have labor exploitation, we have colonialism, we have um, high use of energy for uh, very high or big uh, models for, for training data, and also we have um, mining of natural resources. These controversies are part of this process of technology development. And someone is uh, convincing us that this is something that we need. So uh, at the same time, we find that some of the solutions are not solving the actual problem. We are misleading our expectation in the sense that maybe computer vision not always identify the object that we need to identify. We have, for example, ChatGPT that has hallucination and create facts that are not real, so creating fake news and uh, different facts uh, that don't exist, and also having risk risk like uh, discrimination or deprivation of rights. So I like to think how we can manage this risk, how we can manage our expectations that uh, a technology could be useful but don't bring uh, extra, extra problems to our society. So I like to think or compare always with the aviation industry. Aviation industry, as you know, uh, has a very high risk, you know, taking a plane, is safety because we trust in the process. We trust that there are uh, protocols for making the, the planes uh, checked before, before uh, flight. We have very, very well specialized uh, staff. We have staff that are prepared for any emergency. We have protocols of communication that are working worldwide. And also we have uh, insurance company and other governments uh, protecting from the, this potential risk. So this risk management um, is, is very important for developing an industry that has very high risk. So we have to think about on the same uh, in artificial intelligence. This is a very high risk industry and we have to develop this system, agree in all society, all the social groups should agree on what are the protocols that we have to follow. 
why this is important and what is the relation with the winter that I was mentioning before. Because in the winter, we have to lower ex our expectation. We are entering the survival mode. We f look for refugee, animals look for food for, for surviving to the next season. So we have to think about what are the minimum uh, expectations we have for this uh, type of technology to succeed and survive to the next spring. So thank you very much.